guys, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you are having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. I'm in Texas. Where are you? I'm in Texas in the summer wearing black. I'm hot. I hope you guys are keeping cool. I hope you guys are blessed. In this video, I wanted to talk about five signs that validate that you are indeed psychic. Now, these aren't signs that would indicate that maybe you're psychic. These signs validate that you are. And I want to start there because so many people think that psychic abilities, mediumship, and the empathic nature, that belongs to other people, gifted people who are special. Well, I'm here to tell you that each and every one of us is already psychic. In fact, we came into this world, we were born into this life with everything we would need in terms of perception, gifts, talents, and abilities. And in fact, when we were children, we navigated in the world of spirits so effortlessly. It wasn't a big deal for us to see fairies or to see lights or to hear things or to know things. We just did. It was easy. It's only as we got older and started pointing our interest at other things like boys and girls and studying and jobs and money and goals and things of that nature that we lost sight of these abilities that, again, are so intrinsic to our nature. Psychic abilities are natural. There's nothing scary or weird about them. They are entirely human. And the five following signs are just little validations that you are already psychic. And I want you to pay attention and see if you recognize yourself in any of these signs. First and foremost, going back to your childhood, the first sign is you had an imaginary friend. Now, maybe you had a friend with a name. Maybe your friend was human. Maybe your friend was an animal. Maybe your friend, like me, was a nature elemental who used to sit outside on a beautiful banyan tree, just looking in my window, staring at me and talking to me telepathically. That was my imaginary friend. Now, what if <laughs> that imaginary friend was not so imaginary? What if we were programmed and conditioned to believe that those beings were imaginary by the adults in their lives and by the system and structure of our society, which tells us those things aren't real? I'm telling you they are. In fact, the world of the imagination is far more real than actual physical reality and also much more dynamic spiritually and evidentially than physical reality. If you had an imaginary friend, I just want you to be open to the possibility that that being was real. That was a spirit. That was an elemental. That was an angel that was there to be your companion. The second validation that you are, in fact, psychic is you see things out of the corner of your eyes. And sometimes you see things right in front of your eyes. Now, if you're seeing things out of the corner of your eyes, this may appear to you as colors or shadows and often movement. You might be sitting here watching TV and all of a sudden you see something move across the room in the corner of your eye and you turn and you look and there's nothing there. That's very common. It's called clairvoyance or the ability to see into the world of spirit. And a lot of clairvoyants can also see things like color and energy and lights. Lights being really, really common. If you ever see a pinprick of light appear with your naked vision, that's an indication that your, cl that your clairvoyance is coming online. And those pinpricks of light can have different colors, like white, or gold or indigo, which represent different things, but just know that's you picking up energy and information clairvoyantly from the world of spirit. So if you, if you see things moving out of the corner of your eyes, or if you see things like lights and energies with your eyes, that means you're psychic. Now, it could also mean you have glaucoma or you have an, a detached retina. So if you're seeing things, you might want to get it checked out, but you're probably okay. It's probably just that you are psychic. Now, the third sign that you're psychic is that you tend to notice and encounter synchronicities and patterns. And I have to say, spirit loves to talk to us in the language of repetition and patterns. Now, with patterns, we're talking about something like numbers. How many of you guys encounter 1111? or 333, three, three, or 444, four, four, 555? Five, five. You just notice a sequence or a series of numbers and you don't know why. Well, some people would tell you that what you are actually receiving 
are messages from the angels or messages from the spirit world and that these numbers signify certain things. And I'm open to that. But in my experience, when we see the pattern or the sequence of numbers, it tends to indicate that we are being invited into an activation and activation being something that activates a spiritual principle within us and usually allows us to up level in some way or expand our consciousness. That's what I think 1111 is. If you're seeing 1111, that, that means you are spiritually awakening and you are receiving these activations and indeed these downloads. So if you're seeing those, yeah, you're spiritual and you're also psychic. Now, also other kinds of repetition are very common with spiritual folks. And one rule of thumb that I just want to share with you is if something appears in your awareness three times, stop, hammer time, and check it out because it usually means that spirit is trying to get our attention. For example, maybe in the morning you're sitting around with your friends and somebody brings up the subject of baseball. You're not into baseball. You don't really know the significance of baseball, but you notice, hey, there's a conversation about baseball. Then later that day, you get a phone call and it's from your mom. And your mom says, you know what? I was going through your dad's things and I found this old picture of him in his baseball uniform when he was playing baseball. Now that's interesting. Two times that baseball has come into your awareness and you're not even interested in baseball. So this should have you noticing and thinking. And then maybe at the end of the day, your son comes home and, and he says, I want to join the baseball team. That's the third time. <laughs> the third time baseball comes into your awareness, you want to stop as a spiritual person and maybe take the question of baseball or what spirit is trying to tell you with baseball into something like a prayer or a meditation or a session of conscious creation. Just get into meditation and say, okay, spirit, I noticed that. You're talking about baseball and I'm not sure what this means, but I'm asking for additional information. What would you like me to know? And what would you like me to do? Again, spirit loves to talk to us in repetition and psychic folks pick up on that repetition, whether that's repetition of numbers or actual repetition of events. The fourth affirmation that you are indeed psychic is you just know things. Now, you don't know how you know those things and you don't know why you know those things, but you just know things. You could meet somebody and maybe have absolutely no information about them, but in your energy, in your spirit, really, you know exactly who they are. You can tell what kind of character they have, or you get a sense like, mm, that person is not for me, or wow, I feel like I've known this person forever and I really like them. Again, no information, but you have the energetic information that you need. Likewise, you might enter into a space, maybe a house, and maybe you've never been there before, but immediately you have a sense of whether this is a good place for you or maybe a bad place or whether something has happened here, like something in your feelings and something in your body is telling you about that space. That's called clairsentience. Clairsentience is the ability to feel in the world of spirit, discernment, knowing, knowing without knowing why you know, a great judge of character, somebody who just gets a sense of a thing, a place, or a person. If that's you, you're clairsentient and you're psychic. Last but not least, a validating sign that you are in fact psychic is that you hear things. You hear things. Now, most commonly what psychics hear are things like tones and frequencies and high pitched noises. And this can be auditory sounds that they're actually picking up in the environment. But more commonly, these are tones and frequencies that are coming from the inner world. Now, when you're going to sleep at night tonight, try and check this out. See if as everybody's asleep in the house and everything's quiet, and it's just you. See if you can hear anything because psychic people, intuitive people can pick up on this kind of low vibrational hum, this frequency. And if you hear that tonight, I don't want you to get super excited so as to cut off the connection to that clear audience evidence. Instead, just kind of be with that hum or that frequency or that tone. Be with it and allow it to expand. 
And you'll notice as you're working with sounds like this that are coming from the world of spirit, the more we allow them to expand, the more details start to emerge. And you might hear more than just tones or chords. You might actually hear music. You might actually hear voices. Sometimes at night, because I'm one of my strongest Claire's is Claire audience, sometimes at night it's like I'm listening to a choir of angels and it's beautiful. Now, folks who are psychic and in specific who are Claire audience also tend to hear voices, for example, their name being called. Has that ever happened to you? Have you ever been woken up from sleep by somebody calling your name? Or have you ever been alone in your house and heard your name called? That can be a little that can be a little freaky. That can be a little scary. That's happened to me. And because again, I'm strongly clear audience, I've just I I don't get scared anymore. But when my husband used to travel, like to other countries, he'd be gone and it would just be me and my dogs. And I would hear him calling to me throughout the house. Or I'd hear, him, I'd hear him actually talking. And I always wondered, am I listening to him talking to the people that he's around while he's in Brazil or while he's in Korea or in the Philippines? Or am I hearing him talking to me from his spirit? I've had my father who has passed call my name and talk to me and also my mother. And so if you hear voices, if you hear tones, if you hear music, that means you're clairaudient. And again, this is a validation that you are psychic. Five simple affirmations, five simple signs. What I'd like you to do now is drop down into the comments and let me know if any of those sound familiar. Did you ever have an imaginary friend? Are you a really discerning, good judge of character? Did you ever see things or did you ever hear things? Do you know that you're intuitive? The sooner you know this, the sooner you can actually occupy your abilities in an empowered way and use them in every aspect of your life. Psychic abilities don't need to be mysterious and woo-woo. We can use our perceptions in order to strengthen our relationships, to avail ourselves of new opportunities, to find our purpose, to make more money. These are practical abilities. These are practical faculties. And once again, we all have them. The sooner we accept that, the sooner we can use them. And on that note, I will see you in my next video. And until then, please know that I have nothing but love for you. Bye, guys.